That guy's floating. Like, completely floating. Look, wh why are you floating? Okay, you do you. Oh, you're just gonna walk through the vehicle. Wanna keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, this video is gonna be in Farming Seller 19, and we are gonna be working for a farmer's market, and we're gonna be delivering cherries over to McDonald's, I believe, so they can make cherry pies. Uh, but yeah, so it's gonna be really, really cool. We're kind of changing some stuff up today, though. It's not our usual, our kind of like trailer um and truck combo so usually we go with just one of like the ups trailers uh, or like the amazon prime trailers and then we use uh this truck here which is the freightliner right so this is all with the iconic upgrades uh transportation pack that xley also worked on um and by the way guys this warehouse was also made by xley but yeah we're not taking this truck today nor are we taking the same brand trailer Today, we'll be taking this one here. So it says Farmer's Markets, uh, and it says Farmers Here 19. has a picture of, like, carrots, eggs, broccoli, uh, lots of different stuff, right? You guys see there's so many different uh, vegetables on there. And then we'll be using this Kenworth. Now, this Kenworth, uh, it is the Cat C15, uh, and it is really, really cool, guys. It is an absolute beast, as you guys can tell. Uh, the interior looks really good too and if you look at the bottom right hand corner uh here i'll kind of look downwards so you can see it if you look where it says like diesel exhaust f uh, fluid that's new i've never seen that before it says air which i've also never seen before uh which i'll go over what that exactly uh, means in a second and then uh regular diesel obviously like our diesel levels displayed but yeah so the air the way it works is when we're driving we have air brakes right so we if any time we either uh go from reverse to forward or forward to reverse we use up air and once the air hits 50 percent it will start filling back up so right now it is 95 percent because obviously we had to back this up in here um, and I had to use my brakes to train that. But either way, let's go ahead and get started. So, let's turn this thing on. It's an absolute beast, guys. Absolute beast. And, oh, actually, we don't want to drive away yet. Uh, I, I forgot about one, one little thing. We need this. And that's because we need a way to load up the pallets. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and do this. Now, auto load might be able to do it. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but we'll probably just move them by hand just because that's, I don't know. I, I enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. We're only bringing over a few, a few of them as well. Cause obviously like how many apple pies or cherry pies are they going to be making? Right? Uh, okay. So yeah, that's good. Let's bring the ramp in. There we go. Now I'll drive forward a bit. We're not going to make the mistake we always make. I'm going to drive forward, then we can close the doors. And you see it says uh, farmer's markets on the back as well. So there we go. Yeah, it's on both sides and the back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's get moving. And again, okay, so this truck, guys, you see it's quite long. Um, I'm going to have to get used to this because, yeah, we usually don't, we aren't used to, like, a load this um this kind of distance right uh like distance and on top of that the mirrors on here do not work which is a little bit unfortunate but we gotta gotta live with what we got <laughs> so yeah let's get going we're gonna go on the highway that should be pretty cool and it's either the first off ramp or the second one we have to take i'm gonna i'm gonna have to see once we approach the area Okay, we're just going to turn here. I know it's a double solid yellow line, but, like, I don't know. I'm making the turn. There's no traffic. There we go. Uh, actually, guys, our, our visor there, like, the... It kind of blocks a lot of our view, but you guys see that um, it's a little bit reflective. So it might help us just a little bit to see what's in front. But, obviously, we have a pretty substantial-sized... Um, like hood on this thing. I got it with a raised up hood. They don't actually like they aren't all this um this big. 
some of them some of the hoods are lower down on here but yeah this one I don't know I decided to just get it raised it was like an option and it kind of adds a new challenge to this Ready? okay so here we go so yeah I think here let's just get in this view for a sec I believe we take this off ramp the one that's up at okay I need to focus on staying in the lane uh yeah okay we do take this one so here we go we're just going to where like the factories are actually because that's where they are all grown okay here we go and what's what's the guy's name I think we decided to name him Alejandro pretty sure so yeah Alejandro is still rested guys at the side of the road <laughs> here we go okay stop here and guys I also quickly want to say that if you guys didn't know uh, we did a full change up with our merchandise like I'll say this really really quickly um, but yeah so pretty much it used to be in represent.com we've switched it over to Teespring we have a bunch of new designs and they are honestly really really cool uh, also the shipping speeds are gonna be faster and the quality of print should be better as well uh, so yeah we switch it up but because of that I also want to give you guys a little little discount code at least for the launch so you guys can use code nation for 10% off uh, everything you order between now and uh, dis uh, January 8th I believe yeah I think it's January 8th is when it ends so that's pretty cool I believe it's a Wednesday if anyone is wondering but yeah so code nation n-a-t-i-o-n for 10% off your purchase and you can find the Teespring link down below. You can also, if you're on mobile, you might even see a like shelf underneath the video. It's called where you can see all the different merchandise designs, or at least some of the merchandise designs. Uh, okay, so we are here. You guys know if you watch the live stream, you guys recognize this area. It's pretty cool. And you see our air is down to 94. When I stopped there, it went down to 91. Okay, I'll show you that one more time. So look at the bottom right, okay? drive and then break and now it's at 89 right so that's pretty cool let's open the doors lower the ramp and extend it out uh what is, how do i do this there we go never know which which motion moves it which way <laughs> and yeah we got to disable those straps too okay so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and just take this off the trailer uh when i'm doing that here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lambomod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modern creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay guys, so got it off of the trailer. Let's go ahead and get some pallets on here. So we can try first person for a second. See how we how we do with it uh here yeah the sector is that up because it was not letting us drive properly okay and here we go let's lower it down uh come on get on here there we go that is a lot of cherries but i guess mcdonald's gets a lot of business it's also like a truck stop i believe like on the highway so i kind of see why they need this many yeah, we'll see if these get auto-loaded in. I believe I turned it off, though, so it should be should be all manual. Okay, there we go. We just have to watch the, the height of the top. <laughs> Perfect. And there we go. Okay, let's get the next one off. I kind of missed when we used to do wheelies when we went out of the vehicle. We used to have this, like, mod installed that, for whatever reason, made us pop wheelies. And it was kind of fun. Honestly, was. Okay, here, we'll try third person for this one. Since I know some of you prefer third person over first person. Oh, for a second, I thought we were grabbing two there. If these forks were a little bit longer, I think we would have done that successfully. <laughs> okay. Let's go up here. I think we're grabbing three pallets. So that's... Our second. I don't know why they need this, man. Like, this seems a bit excessive. Maybe, maybe they have, like, a new product coming out that uses cherries. 
who knows i just do what i'm told to like yeah these cherries are gonna go bad eventually so it's kind of interesting that they want so many mcdonald's knows what they're doing though so if they if they say they need this many i believe them <laughs> they do get a lot of business do you guys like the like different pies and stuff at mcdonald's if you've ever had them like, i really like uh like their apple pie and stuff oh that is so good that is, if you ever want to if you ever see me in person guys and there's a mcdonald's nearby you should totally grab me an apple pie from mcdonald's oh that'd be so oh 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 i would be so happy <laughs> um okay that did not go off her forks like it was supposed to sometimes i get stuck there we go okay we still need to leave this in here though uh now our weight's not evenly distributed so i'm gonna kind of angle this a bit just like so that should be good okay let's hop in here bring up the ramps and I threw down the straps even though I'm not sure if that actually does anything. <laughs> but it's okay. There we go. And let's turn on our vehicle. So here we are. Air is at 89. And I don't know. We might not even have it go down before the video is over. We'll see. But you, well, okay. You definitely see it going down. Like it might not go low enough for it to refill. Also, is that door transparent? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, look at how the door looks. And if we go first person... Oh, no, okay, that makes sense. It's just, it looks so... Wow, that looks really cool. This door doesn't doesn't have the same opening at the bottom. That really helps your view. This definitely, definitely would be good for a truck driver. By the way, I'm talking about uh, this. One sec. Set FOV 12. There we go. See this right here? That's what I'm talking about. Like, you can see how far you are from the curb and stuff. Usually you would have like a mirror up top, but like up top at the side, but I guess that's a probably a better solution. <laughs> like that really lets you be able to see uh, how aligned you are and stuff like that. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with that. Cool design. Okay, here we go. I'm just making sure. Why are our wheels in the ground? What? Okay, there's some weird collision there. Um, okay, they seem good now. That was weird. They were literally in the ground, guys. Not not too sure what was happening there. Oh, yeah, yeah, so we'll get back on the highway just for a little bit. We're going to continue going left. So, which I believe is south on the map. Uh, here, let's see. Start up here. We're going down. Yeah, so we're going south. There we go. Well, I'm assuming top of the map's north. It's usually how how that works. <laughs> okay, so go over here. And we'll be making a left. So here, let's actually turn on a turn signal. Oh, does the turn signal not display in the middle? It doesn't. Okay, but you see it's obviously going. So that's good. We will make this turn. Just like so. And I'll turn that off. Okay. Perfect. Our view is really blocked by that visor. Not gonna lie. Especially when we're going like downhill. Uh, I, was, I was trying to look at our mirrors to merge, but we don't have working mirrors, so I can't really do that. <laughs> One of those things you take for granted in this game, but when you don't have them, you miss them. You really do. I, th I would say most mods, though, now are coming out with working mirrors, which is pretty cool to see. Hopefully someone can add mirrors on this, uh, like, onto this vehicle. Okay, you're going so slow. How's the horn sound? Oh, it's nothing special. You guys probably don't even hear it. We're turning right here, though, so... Yeah, okay, if you turn, though, I'm going to be mad. Uh, let's see. Nope, you're going straight. Perfect. Unless you're just in the wrong lane. Nope, yeah, you're going straight. Okay. Here we go. Let's make this turn. Do you think I can do it in this view? Here, let's see. Let's try making this turn. Do I know the map well enough? Uh, ho-ho. Okay. 
Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now we're aligned. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't know. Kind of worked. Actually, I don't even know if we were supposed to make that turn. Uh, oh, no, no, we were. We were. Let's try to think for a second. Because there's a McDonald's and a Wendy's on this map, and I, I always get those two confused. Not in real life, only on the map. Like, only in the game. <laughs> Just the locations. Okay, we're going to have to set cruise control here shortly. Because we are entering the city, and it's a little bit more dangerous. I'm going to say let's set it at 35 or 36. That should be good. I believe that's within the legal limit. Here, what does that sign say? It says 35. Eh, 36 is good. It's also in kilometers, I believe, right? So, oh, no, it's in miles. Okay, yeah, we're definitely speeding, but they're going too slow over there. Look at that. See you later. Actually, as Spencer would say, see you later, butt crack. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so it should just be up ahead. I don't see the big McDonald's sign yet, though. Uh, that's an Applebee's. Maybe it is over to the side. Oh, no, okay, I, I see the big M. We're good, we're good. Here we go. Yeah, it's just to our right. You guys should be seeing it here shortly. Our visor completely blocks off the, the M. There's a cop. Okay, okay, act, act calm, guys. Act, act normal. Let's turn on a turn signal just because they're there. I mean, I always turn on my turn signal, officer. Okay, that truck or that vehicle came a little bit close. There we go. And we'll pull into here. I'll wait for that car to go by. Guys, in real life, just a just a strong tip. Trucks have the right of way. Like, 99%. Like, okay, here's the thing. Even if they don't have the right of way, you do not want to go up against a truck. They take long to slow down first off, so it's dangerous if you try to, like, uh, have the right of way or whatever. But on top of that, like, if you get in collision with the truck, I can almost guarantee the big semi-truck will win. Actually, I'm pretty sure I can guarantee that. <laughs> um, okay, we're actually going to try, I think, backing this up in here. Now, Pedestrians on here just walk through vehicles and stuff, so I'm not really gonna care if we like hit one because there's nothing I can do about it. Also, buddy, what kind of parking job is this? Are you good? Like, first off, you shouldn't even be parking over here. This is for trucks. No, okay, these cars don't know how to park. Like, this this guy knows what he's doing. Actually, no, he's well, no, he's technically in the spot. They're just both off to the side of it. Anyways, okay, let's try backing this up in here. Not fooling around. I'm messing around. Uh, do, do, do. It's actually probably going to be hard for them to access this, but we aren't unloading it. That's that's on them. <laughs> Come on. Okay, let's try this. I think we're aligned good enough. Let's back up. I don't know why I raise the camera up so high whenever I do this. It always bugs me when I like go to edit the videos and realize like how weird I made the camera angles. Okay. I think that's pretty good. We're a little bit close to that truck, but they they are definitely quite a bit bigger than us. If you look at them and you look at us. And, like, this is a pretty big truck, usually. Theirs is just ginormous. Like, absolutely ginormous. Also, I don't know what this window texture is. There's a tire there. Interesting. Some Something got messed up. And I think they have a bit of rust or just a terrible design. Anyways, that's it for this video. We got really, really dirty this video, too. Like, this was clean at the beginning. Uh, but, yeah, have a great day. You guys are awesome. That guy's floating. Like, completely floating. Look, wh why are you floating? This guy is actually floating. Okay, you do you. Oh, you're just going to walk through the vehicle. Sounds sounds good. Sounds good. Anyways, have a great day. Uh, again, merchandise. Use code NATION, N-A-T-I-O-N, for 10% off until January 8th. It's now at teespring.com. Link's going to be down below. Have a great day. Uh, subscribe, if you don't mind, by clicking that bell. 
button two right beside it. You guys are awesome. I think I've said that now five times. Bye bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.